Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon on this wonderful warm-up Friday. Gotta admit, feeling just a little bit allergy-y recently. I gotta stop taking um, so much Benadryl. I, I think it, normally Benadryl as a antihistamine, it doesn't really knock me out. Do we have hip holster? Oh, that's so good. Uh, oh good. Normally uh, Benadryl doesn't really knock me out that much, but at least lately it kind of has been. I've been feeling a little bit sapped of energy, tired, exhausted might be a good way of phrasing it. I've been feeling not the best. But the show must go on and I must continue my streams. I mean, we could actually, you know, use the claw at some point, but it is just the worst weapon. Um, so like, it, for example, I actually took yesterday off of my, my standard streaming schedule. I just didn't have the energy to do anything. So instead, I uh, <coughs> did a lot of coughing, took some antihistamines, and knock myself out, but before then I played a little bit of Factorio, just for no reason. Um, oh, I hoped that that one dodge roll would kill you, but we didn't do enough damage. Friend of the, the channel, Lady Erinine, has been doing a lot of uh, Factorio streaming lately. And I've, I've watched on occasion, but even just hearing about it, just hearing the word Factorio makes me think, oh man, I kinda wanna play me some Factorio again. Cause I, I love those types of games, those automated progression is how I call it. Um, and there's another one that I, I kind of learned of recently. Uh, my friend Chris was talking about this the other day. He was showing me Shapes.io, which is kind of like a bit of a, um, I mean, you could call it like a Factorio light. You just use shapes and you color shapes in order to, to build things. And you, you don't build like, you know, bullets out of iron. Instead, you just build like a star out of a half star square and then you gotta like paint it, cut it, fit it together. And it's a fun experience and I had a good time playing it, but it left me wanting more. It left me wanting the, the true, you know, depth of a Factorio life once again. It was good though, he was showing me um, his Factorio Sorry, not hit Factorio. My friend Chris does not have Factorio, even though he says he would like to try it at some point. So at some point, maybe if I can get him to buy it, we'll uh, do like a Factorio multiplayer game or something. But he's showing me his shapes.io factory, basically. And I love my friend. He's, he's a good dude. Has the absolute, absolute worst spaghetti brain I've ever seen. It is, if we do end up playing Factorio together, it will be a nightmare. I'm, I know that to be certain, but I, I can't wait anyways. It sounds like a fun time. He had just, just like, belts going everywhere. Oh, his factory was just a complete mess. And I love it. I love my man Chris, but he is an idiot sometimes and he's not, very well suited for uh, anything but spaghetti. But if we play Factorio, he'll be the spaghetti master and I'll be the uh, the the Gordon Ramsay telling him, it's freaking spaghetti. Can't wait. Um, but yeah, I, I had been wanting to play a little bit of Factorio recently. So you know what I did? I actually just played a little bit of Factorio. I started up uh, a death world and played for a little while. Game's a lot of fun. I forgot just how, how enjoyable it is to get lost in the experience. Although I will say, I will say that Factorio does have just an insane amount of complexity to it. And coming from, going from shapes.io to um, Factorio was a bit of a, uh, a bit of a jarring experience because you go from having you know, oh, you can only ever have 16 belts in shapes.io, which is stupid, by the way. I do have some complaints about shapes, including one of like the whole layering system is just like a massive annoyance. But uh, yeah, you go from just dealing with shapes and colors to dealing with, ah, oh, well, you need to go find some more oil to make plastic, to make your red, you know, potato circuits so that you can actually, you know, build stuff that is at the tier that you need it to be. Oh, sorry, alien invasion, you're dead. 
there is a lot of complexity to Factorio, but that complexity, it's both a, a fun reason to play the game because the complexity means that in a game like Shapes.io, one of the complaints I have with that game is that there's a lot of waiting around. Uh, once you complete your current construction project, you're basically just waiting for like a, a ticker to tick up until you can actually work on something else because you have to, you have to in Shapes.io, you have to deliver like 25,000 circles and then you get your next target. So it's a lot of just, you set up a factory and then you wait. But in, in uh, Factorio, there's always something that you can do. You can always, explore to find new resources, start working on trains. You know, there's always something for you to do if you have nothing else to do. It, there's never a moment in that game where you're like, I have nothing to do. So I do like Factorio for that, you know, just, but like, there's a lot of waiting around in shapes. The fact that you only have 16 belts ever, highly weird and frustrating. There's one point in the game where literally for like three levels, for three upgrade tiers, you're basically just, putting the game on autopilot for an hour. Cause like, like you've built everything that you need to build. You have 16, which is the maximum full belts filled with, with stuff that you need and you're just waiting. Anyways, yeah. I really like automated progress or progressive automation style games. I really do. There's something just, well, wow. all right. There's something just fun and relaxing about it and, and you know, it's, it's a good way to just kind of lose yourself for, oh, I don't know, like 12 hours at a time. Ogrim says, I'm waiting for Abe to read my message on Dicey Dungeons, but I guess it's never gonna happen. You know, I will um, read the comment of someone who said, isn't Claw plus explosive rounds good? No, <laughs> it's still not good. <laughs> in, in theory, you might get, you know, a decent number of explosions, but in practice, I'd, I'd still just would rather not use it at all. Um, I, I think because it has 600 rounds, it it takes a long time to get the explosions. Like, I, I think explosion frequency is semi-related to ammo capacity, so... Yeah, you fire a lot of bullets, but... You know... I'd rather, I'd rather use explosive rounds as just like a value add as opposed to I need the explosions to actually do damage, you know? Ogrim says, Abe is so mean, BRB crying. <laughs> he also says, I picked up recently picked up Dicey Dungeons and I can't seem to win with a witch any tips. Nope, which sucks. If you really want to know, Ogrim, I'll tell you, the um, uh, witch in Dicey Dungeons, fun game by the way, great, great game, uh, was so bad on release that after like a month, they actually buffed the witch. Originally, the witch did not get any additional dice at like level four, but it was such a difficult character that they made it so that you can get an extra dice on like level four on your on your upgrades or something like that. So you start with four dice instead of three. I think, I, I can't quite remember, but, um, that, cause that was like after I'd already won everything as the witch, but yeah, the witch is just, the witch sucks in Dicey Dungeons. <laughs> Least favorite by far. I don't know, maybe on like a, this is weird to say, but maybe on a boss the club could be okay because you at least have like a lot of uh, area to hit the boss. I don't know, maybe it's not horrible, but like, I'd still just rather use a consistent gun rather than hoping for the lucky, you know, explosions. I think that's the big deal with me, is that it's about consistency. You know, I could use the Clob, sure, but this is just more consistent. Maybe we'll try the Clob on, uh, Mr. Blobby Lord. Yeah, I think maybe on a larger target, well, I think here, uh, I don't know. Cause on many targets, the explosion could hit multiples, but on a large target, you're gonna get the explosions landing a little bit more frequently. But then you run into a situation like that where we only got like one explosion in two clips. You know, it's just completely random and inconsistent. 
And he's still living, huh? This is a good test, though. This is a good test. Now get out of here. Da 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 da. I'm, I'm still trying. <laughs> I'm like, and in my head, I'm like, this is uh, usually a lot longer of a fight than normal. Even on, you know, floor two, you'd expect to have something that's a little bit better at killing a boss than this. So this is like almost ideal, you know, clob use case. And the fact that the explosions were so infrequent makes me think, yeah, it's not a great gun. <laughs> not, not, a, not a wonderful weapon, is it? You know what? Expend the ammo so I don't accidentally switch to this gun ever again. We'll just keep using the Rattler then. We have one key. Uh, goodbye the member. You know, on the cheap, just to make sure we have weapons for the future, I'll buy a gun. I'll buy a damn gun. Was that a secret room in room next to room? Was that a secret room in the room next to the room with the chest with the locked door asks JMC. Look, I don't know. <laughs> we'll go check. But we already found the secret room on the floor, so I, um... I'm thinking that if there's a secret room... It's gonna be like a second secret room, but we gotta go that way anyways. Nope, already used it. Room, room, room. Room, 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 room! Speaking of room, room, I, um, went to the grocery store yesterday. This isn't up this isn't a bit or anything. I'm just, you know, you know, I woke up, uh, got out of bed, ate some breakfast, took a shower, went to the grocery store. I was noticing on my way to the grocery store, my bike, my motorcycle, really not happy with the fact that it is, you know, very freaking cold. Have to admit I understand completely the reason for that, but yeah, my bike is definitely not happy that it's so cold recently. Maybe that's part of the reason why I'm feeling, uh, you know, a little bit more tired lately. It's just, you know, we're getting to that point. It's it's Thanksgiving hangover. Yes, Thanksgiving was like a week ago, but still. And then also just, you know, it's getting really freaking cold. I just want to stay inside with the heater and bundle up, and not do anything. It's understandable, right? I was really tired yesterday, though. Zero, <laughs> uh, welcome. How's it going today? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> definitely not sick anymore, but definitely have allergies that are playing havoc on me. Not the best. Oh, well. I gotta think of what game to play after... Well, after what? After Spire, probably, because I don't expect Slay the Spire to last forever. Then again, we are only... I, like, I haven't played Spire in, like, a week, because I only have one more Ironclad run to complete before I'm, com you know, done with it forever. Well, I said that, you know, last time, and we all see, you know, know how that turned out, but... You know, I only have one more run before I'm done and I complete A20 with part with all characters again. So I'm excited for that, but like, I don't know what to play after that. <laughs> I guess I've already kind of decided. I've been playing a lot of Isaac lately because Isaac is at least, you know, I'm not gonna say Spire isn't good, but you know, I'm getting a bit of a Spire headache from that. Inscription. Oh God. Inscription is one of those games where it's something to play short term, but I don't think it's something that I'm gonna be playing, you know, 100 hours of. I, I hear it's more of a story-driven experience, but it is still great. Dude, maybe I can actually get Chris to uh, pick up Factorio, and we can do like a Factorio game together or something. He streams normally, but, you know, we could always just have a, uh, like tasks assigned to us and we kind of like do our own thing or maybe we try to do it together, but you know, I don't know if I could survive with his spaghetti, his spaghetti. 
Crayon Scribbles, welcome to the stream, by the way. You have about half the views in the entire category of Enter the Gungeon. I would hope so. With how much I play of this game, <laughs> with the, you know, 2,000 hours up on YouTube, whatever the heck it is, I better damn well have, you know, plenty of views up on t Twitch, plenty of uh, viewers for the, the Twitch category. I actually can't see what the number is right now because my bot, my chat bot is not working. Like, I'm reliant on the people watching, oh, let's go. I'm reliant on the people watching Enter the Gungeon to, you know, get me to, to Twitch partnership. <laughs> when is that gonna happen? Come on. We don't need to have half of the category from the Enter the Gungeon streamers. We need to have 100% of the category. Totally not a big shot. Hello, boundless zero. Hello, I'm just I'm gonna call out the hellos for people I missed ear earlier. ML Burke, disposable account. Good people, I think. So I'd much rather use this than the clob. Just saying. Man, this gun's so fun. Because <laughs> it's just so good. <laughs> best gun. I don't know if it's the best gun in the game, but... Man, it is close. It is close if it's not the best gun in the game. It is fantastic. Decent on ammo, does a ton of damage. Good for bosses, good for rooms. It's got everything. Ooh. Well, we're going to the... Uh, the mine's next floor, like the floor after this upcoming floor, so having remote detonator is not bad. We also get the M1 synergy with the backpack. Let's get the heck out of here. We're done with this floor. Where's our exit? There it is. It's almost an auto win if you get ammo. Yeah, the ammo box, ammo synthesizer would be very nice with this to be able to, you know, kill enemies quickly and then get a whole bunch of, uh, of ammo out of them. Which gun is better? Black Hole Gun Tentacles is better, but Gunner Fury needs no enablers. Black Hole Gun... Black Hole Tentacles? I guess, yeah, that is a good synergy. Good enough to kill, you know, any room or any boss in, like, one bullet. That is pretty sweet. Really thought this would kill the ghost in two shots, not three. You know what? You're worthy of the Gunder Fury. You're worthy of my fury. Hey, Jet Jaguar. By the way, welcome. How's it going? Is it normal for like three or four of your party members in Darkest Dungeon to be virtuous? Nope. <laughs> You got that, consider yourself lucky, um, and then never do that again, because the next time, they won't be virtuous and you'll get yourself killed. Ooh, I gotta remember the double tap synergy with this. Well, it's not really a synergy, it's more of a style. You fire and then immediately reload with the M1 so that you get essentially double shots for your ammo. Yo, gotcha. Yo, that's pretty good. We got a turtle, we got a gun. This one's for pleasure, this one's for fun. I like it, I like it. Found another secret room. Give me all the secret rooms. Yo! Amulets are very useful. Now we do need a key on this floor because we do want to open up that uh, Sinner Grace chest later. So let's try and uh, make our way over to the shop. Hopefully we get multiple keys because there's still a lot of stuff on this floor to open. You know what? Eat a couple of those. 
What is the chance to become virtuous? Complicated. Complicated, big shot. Um, it's lower if you're on a higher level mission with lower level characters, but it's like 25 or 30% or something, so. Probably you could like read the wiki on that and be like, ah yes, the chance is X plus Y plus Z, or you know, T minus four, pi, tau, lambda. So much rules. So many rules for it. I remember I um, tried to force virtuousness once in a, a Darkest Dungeon mission. I forget what mission it was, but I, I remember, I think twice trying to get it with like 85% virtue chance and failing and it was a horrible mission as a result because it's like, come on, you know, this is an important mission. I need this to happen. I don't remember. It's been a while. Yo, the turtles destroyed that mage. They were like, nah, dog. I guess he's not a dog, he's more of a mage. Bam, bam, Crimson Court, yeah. Crimson Court's a pretty hard DLC for uh, Darkest Dungeon. Reload! <laughs> well, I shouldn't have fired, but still, reload! Yo, we got a key. I really should have just bought the key ahead of time, but this is fine. And that's a good, decent item. I think this would also give us the M1 synergy if we didn't already have it. And sometimes the explosive rounds do help. They do help a lot. Uh, can we buy the commando? Do we have the money for it? 9135. We don't exactly have the money for it. Maybe after the fight we will. Surprised that that worked. Doubt that there's anything to use the explosive uh, item on. Eye bomb. You might as well get the free shot, right? What? Still got the glasses. I knew it. I think the glass guan stone saved me on that one. That's fine. Yes! <laughs> nice shot! Oh, you're not gonna get me with that one, old king. I know your tricks, son. Anyways, we got it. Well, now we can definitely get to the, uh... Ah, boo. Now we can definitely get the commando. Do we even want it for curse? I don't know, why not? What else are we gonna do with our time? Nothing. The zombie bullets, I'll take it. I am gonna gun lunch, you know what? Get rid of the Clob, get rid of, uh, well actually, let's get rid of uh, Cruller Glaive. I'm never gonna use this thing. With the weapons I currently have, you know, let's get rid of something that's not just D quality. Brown poo guns. Kill em. Break a pot chance for blank? Don't worry about the vase, you know. Fair enough, it's a, at least a fun gun that has some interesting use cases. I like it, I like it. Um, I think, yeah, we'll keep it like this. There we go. Ah, good old Gungeon, good old warm-up Gungeon for the day. <laughs> Always excited to play some, and I'm excited to get like a cool run like this. Well, although it's really not a cool run, I mean, it is a good run, but it's really just a run in which we have Gunder Fury, which kind of makes it a cool run. Cool run, Luke.
Blam, 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 blam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got to admit, explosive rounds helping nicely. Yeah, why not? It's the cop, so we'll get a damage bonus later. Explosive rounds are doing more than I thought that they would, so I'm happy. You know what? Surprise! <laughs> Have a Gunder Fury shot to the face. I, there's no kill like overkill. That's my motto. I should, um, ooh, let's go. I should, um, get a run where I have the, uh, what the heck? Where I have the makeshift cannon and just use it on a single bulletkin. Angry bullets. Well, we don't really have anything that pierces, so angry bullets is fine. All of our shots now bouncing around. I'll take it. It's one of those, uh, not really a synergy, not really an anti-synergy. It's just, you know, you get more value out of your bullets as long as you're not dealing with piercing shots. Okay, I walked into the enemy when time was stopped. <laughs> I, I guess in my head I thought he would move or I thought that the contact damage would not apply. I don't know. I mean, what, why does he hurt me when, when time is stopped? He's not pulling out a knife and stabbing me. Is he just that dangerous? Is he hot? Like, literally speaking, is 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 his, his metal casing hot to the touch? He wasn't just fired. You know, this is at clearly at least an adolescent bulletkin. You know, he is not at fresh out of the chamber, if you know what I mean. So why is he hot to the touch? Tell me that game. You can't, because it's stupid. Again, I just wanted to eat that bullet with my face, but this time it was uh, totally because I knew where the secret room was. That was a pot, actually, that time. <laughs> Good use of the bell, XD says Game Watcher Libra. Hey, Game Watcher, welcome, how you doing today? It's always nice to see you. I like this gun. Especially with angry bullets, that's a very fun weapon. El Sunlight Javelin. Um, let us fight the boss, which is not here, it's here. If we have ammo, then we'll um, do some stuff with the, uh, well not if we have ammo, but if we get flight, we'll do some, some special shenanigans with the, uh... are you still firing bullets? We'll do some special shenanigans with the uh, gun game and Sounds like that's his name. Hi, my name is Gun Gaiman. <laughs> Excuse me, really, I just need to also not forget to do Gun Gaiman. I always forget to do this guy. All right, hip holster. Okay, so hip holster and bouncing bullets? What? Okay, so we want to do... Both of those missed, huh? Okay, well we got one of them. What's, how, did he, how did he get to this one? Oh, it's like this, I remember now. So we're gonna do like this. Oh, but we can't reload it, and we hit the block. Okay, that's, that's honestly the hardest one, and I always forget how to do it. Like, I, I see... First of all, I haven't seen that gun gaming in like a year. <laughs> so, you know, my bad on that one, but that's also the hardest one. There's a pattern to it. I just forget what it is. Can we get the heck out of here? Let's get the heck out of here. Da -da 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 -da. You know what? You're not affected by time. I guess you did not exist before now. You know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. As to why enemies don't get affected by the, uh, the aged bell when they spawn in. Because time doesn't work correctly in the gungeon. You know? 
Challenge mode? Alright. What's your challenge? Long live the king? Who, that guy? Got him. Got him. Where's your challenge? Sorry, I did the challenge already? Oh, my bad. See, I thought that was just a normal standard room. It was so easy. But you, you sure do know how to pick them, son. Son. My, I'm almost out of ammo with this gun. We're gonna have to pick a new, new gun. Some of those gun games are super tricky. They are, but that one in particular is one of the hardest ones. There's also one that's really tricky and because it's really freaking big. But that one is definitely one of the harder ones. That one's hard because of the the weirdness with the the angles you have to shoot. Oh good, more garbage guns. I'm so excited to get so many garbage weapons in this game. Oh, it gets it gets me out of bed every morning. How do you fire bullets when you're stopped via time? Makes no sense. None of this makes any sense. What kind of a gungeon is this? I want to speak to your manager. We done? I can leave? Yeah, that was always an option. Really wanted my bell to come back. I guess we should be using, like, the companion app on occasion. It, it, you know? It's not much, but it's honest work for an active item. Lots of Excalibur curse. I'll keep Excalibur, it's a decent weapon, but the, um... Freaking punch glove. That's gonna get sold. That's gonna get sold as soon as I find the creep for it. You know what, I'll take the orange over the companion app, why not? Give me back my bell. I thought you didn't take the bell. I thought the bell was like a, a excluded special item that you would not try to steal. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm wrong. Why, <gasps> I never. I mean, honestly, at this point, it's like, let's just sell all the guns that we know that we are never, ever, ever gonna use. Uh-oh, the money, it's coming. Or maybe those are turtles, actually. Run from the money! Anyways, what was I talking about earlier? <laughs> I feel like my brain is in a bit of a state right now. Games, that's right, I was talking about games earlier. Gonna have to find other games to play, new games to play. I don't really have much to play these days, other than what I've been streaming for the most part. Lots of Isaac. Isaac. Bam, 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 bam. That's why I like Angry Bullets combined with this thing. The Sunlight Javelin. Lots of, lots of bouncing Sunlight Javelins that still do decent amount of damage and also still apply the flame effect. <laughs> Excuse me, buy the key please. Skull? Nah. I could play uh, Dead Cells. They released an update that added um, stuff from other games. So you can play with the Hollow Knight Nail, and you can have like aerial attacks and moves that you can do, like downward strikes. You can play as Ghoul, the Skull Hero. Um, and then other things as well that I don't remember. Like something from Guacamelee involving a chicken. I 
I should go back to Dead Cells at some point. Well, maybe, uh, it's, that's always a funny one, because Dead Cells, like, I pretty much finished the game, I experienced the content, the, the boss stem cell five boss, defeated him, didn't flawless him, that's the only thing I haven't, like, really done. But, like, I, I, I did what I needed to do in that game. I actually also have a video video that never went up. I was trying to do some uh, YouTube cleanup the other day, making sure that you know all my videos were scheduled properly, and I, I noticed that I had one old video for Dead Cells that was never, never published, so I'm gonna have to publish that at some point. It'll just be like a one-off Dead Cells video from like three months ago. I'm sure people don't mind. Hey, copper. Hate to say it, I'm glad you're dead. Let me get my damage bonus. Thank you. And my key, thank you. Sure. Give me some of these temporary glass guan stones. It's such a, such a waste of a shrine. I wish that they did more with that glass guan stone shrine. Like something that actually made the glass guan stones purposeful, like to give them some reason to exist. And in my head, I'm thinking about it and I'm like, okay, what would I do? Well, in, I hate to make the, you know, comparisons over and over again, but in Isaac, there is a soul locket that gives you a permanent stat bonus whenever you pick up a temporary HP container. So, I don't know, maybe some, you could do something similar, you get like a speed up, maybe like a speed up for every re, uh, glass guan stone you have, or like a damage up, you know, glass cannon. You get a whole bunch of them, you get a little bit of temporary damage, and whenever you lose it, it means even more. You know, give me, give me some reason to have these things and to care that I lose them. Macho Libre says, hey Abe, I remember you played or wanted to play Dark Souls, did you? I played Dark Souls 3 on uh, on stream, I think. I don't think I played the other ones. I was thinking about it at one point, being like, yeah, that could be fun, but then I realized the other games didn't really age as well as 3. And I'm not the, I'm not the, the, the souls guy, you know? I'm the gungeon guy. <laughs> People come here for gungeon, they don't come here for dark souls, but it would be, it would be fun, but I gotta, I, I have to feel like there's other things that I would rather play. Cause I kinda just don't wanna play through dark souls again. I already played it twice. All, all on personal time, but like, it hasn't really aged all that well. All right, let's murder you. Thank you. Thank you, Music, for coming back as well. You didn't forget me. ML Burke says, hey, we come here for you. You might, but, you know, I gotta worry about everyone else, too. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to, trying to, to build a bit of a following here. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should not play, you know, the same Enter the Gungeon over and over and over again for eternity. Maybe I gotta mix it up a bit, play a little bit of Dark Souls, play a little bit of, uh, of, uh, I don't know, what else would I play? <laughs> Back for Blood! Let's play some Back for Blood! It'll be a, a Back for Blood channel. I love the random blanks from pots breaking. I don't even have to be the one that shoots them. That was an enemy that shot that pot. Mud says he's here for the gungeon. There you go. Synthetica. Someone recommended that to me the other day. I have I know very little about it. Yo! Now we have a synergy. I mean, we had a synergy, now we have like a real synergy. Got 
there it is. Now, we... Whenever we break a pot, we have a chance to create a blank, and that blank is gonna have a gold amulet attached to it. Seems really freaking good. Like, blank, blank, blank. Blank, 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 blank. JMC says, Dark Souls 2 gets a bad rap. It's not bad, just different. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Although I will say, part of the reason that it's pretty bad is because it was, um, it was supposed to be different than what it actually was. I think that's, that's part of the reason. Like, it was supposed to be a different experience. Yo, we have a lot of curse. Why do we have so much curse? What happened? What the heck? That's right, I forgot that you don't get time slowed. At least not properly. I've got a time to slow you like outside of an attack animation. You know what? You'll get slowed. Is there another dagger over there still? What the heck? You were supposed to die a long time ago, friend. Clunk, 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 clunk. I love the sounds of these eggs breaking on everything. Yellow chamber? I don't have yellow chamber. I've got a, a <laughs> honeycomb. Can you not get enough of that honeycomb or something? Please die. Got him. Da 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 Anyways, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> We're done. We've done everything we needed to do. Where's my sunlight javelin? I was really hoping we could find like a... Uh... Oh, you know, oh, that's why we have so much curse. It's because the, um, the cop died and by talking to him, I think you do get like two and a half curse. That's why we're that high, okay. See, that was the missing piece of the puzzle, because I, I knew, I know we have Excalibur, I know we have Casey, I know we stole once, but I, the math still didn't line up. The cop is what's putting a, putting us over the edge right now. Because it's a lot of curse on him. Although, do you get curse for getting rid of HP and getting a familiar? I don't think so. I think that's only you lose one heart. So I, that that should not be affecting the the curse level at all. I don't think. Honestly, like any enemy that splits into more enemies, you can just get hit by Gunder Fury because I just don't like you. I just don't appreciate you. I just don't think we're a good fit. Man, I love angry bullets with this gun, admittedly. It's very useful. I mean, look at that, we just burned. Oh my god, the bounces. There has to be some, like, logic to make them more likely to bounce into enemies. Because I see it all the time. You get, like, a, a three or four way bounce and you just obliterate. And it's such a nice feeling.
Oh, good lord. Got a little close there, my son. Oh, God. Yo, give me some more pots, please. More pots, more pots, more pots. What the? Dude, I'm telling you, I love the bounces. I also kind of love the uh, turtles getting in the way of the enemy bullets so that they have to kind of walk around the turtles. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you walked into a turtle and died. I, I'm not really that afraid of you anymore. Dude, <laughs> the angry bullet bounces. Really, it should just say cheat homing, like homing after bounce, because that, that feels like what it is half the time. I don't know how we're getting these, these great bounces if it's just, you know, random. I mean, I guess it could just be random, but it's not really random. I think it's just one of those things where it's like, there's a high chance that it'll go directly to a nearby enemy, but it's not necessarily guaranteed. Okay, well that one definitely hit. Putting my life on the line a little bit, trusting the dodge roll because it might not always work. Or the, the table flip dodge roll, really, because it might not, might not always work. Weirdly enough, a fight like this is easier than, you know, the third, fourth, fifth floor boss because the damage cap is a lot higher. so we can do a lot more damage a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, this is working very well. Uh, what, a, what a just like a satisfying, powerful run. You know, I don't wanna have to deal with jammed liches. Oh, what's that? One of the strongest guns? Don't mind if I do. Also, broken guan stones are helping. Also, I, I actually thought that the aged bell would um, not begin the charge up until after it ran its its course, but no, it does not decharge itself as you use it. It just get, gets activated immediately. So as enemies are frozen, you can charge it up. So as enemies are frozen, I'm charging it up, and by the time it unfreezes, we're like halfway there. That's really good. Sorry, turtles, oh god. No one look. They may or may not be an endangered species, but they're dead here. Ah, screw it. We got the ammo now. It's just so more satisfying to hold the button down. Good run, easy! Yeah, we were very, very jammed, but that works. Hey, good run. And, uh, what do you guys think is the best gun in the game? It says, guy made of beads. It's close to the to the Gunder Fury. It's a fantastic weapon, good for everything. Nah, Klob. <laughs> I sold that earlier on the run. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of the Bye. Enter the Gungeon.